Hey everybody, I've been using these e-bikes for hunting for some time now. In fact, I've got a video that's the number one video on YouTube about electric bikes for hunting. I'll put a link right up here. I'm going to tell you six reasons why I think you should be using these bikes for hunting, especially for public land. And hey, I'm, you know, just hit 60 and I got the body to prove it. I got a knee that gives me lots of trouble all the time. I thought I was going to have to quit going back and hunting deep areas of public land that don't get hunted much but this bike has allowed me to continue to hunt areas that are difficult to access and get to areas where the hunting can be really good. I'm going to give you six reasons why I think you should own one of these bikes. Um, if you watch that other video you'll notice that I was using a different brand of bike and um, man I really liked that bike but when the motor failed I just couldn't get any satisfaction from the manufacturer quiet cat so I started doing some research trying to find a bike that would be more reliable and I landed on the back coup bike and uh, one of the reasons why is because the mid drive motor on the bike that I had before had plastic parts in it nylon or whatever and this particular bike has a motor that's much stronger much better and uh, I don't have to worry about having that motor fail on me it's also got some other features uh, it's got front shock absorbers, mid shock absorbers that absorbs the rear end so it's much more comfortable to ride. Um, it's got an integrated torque sensor so it's much smoother and it's a little more money but uh, definitely worth it for me. So let's talk about these six reasons why you should own one of these bikes for public land hunting. Number one, deer are not spooked as much when they see you riding a bike as they are when you're walking. It's really surprising that you can ride white by deer and uh, they just don't spook as badly. That's great for going to your stands, coming from your stands, even scouting. Uh, number two, the speed with which you can scout is much better. You can run the entire perimeter of a field, for example, checking for rubs and scrapes in a fraction of the time. Number three, if you're walking long distances, you're gonna get sweaty going to and from your tree stand. You don't wanna be at your tree stand when you're sweaty and the extra power that this bike gives you yeah, it's just a minimal effort to get to your tree stand. You don't get sweaty and you can get there in a fraction of the time. You're minimizing your scent intrusion. That's number four. You're not leaving ground scent as you move through the area. You're not leaving scent on bushes and brush and things like that. And you're just minimizing the intrusion and the spooking that you would normally do by walking. You can get past gated off areas. You can go into public spots that would typically you would have to walk. Places where motorized vehicles are not allowed. You can't take a four-wheeler in there. In most situations you can use this bike on public land unless it's posted otherwise. Uh, the federal guidelines in a state of flux I guess you would say at the current time anything over 750 watts is not considered a motorized vehicle. They are changing back and forth and states have adopted different regulations. A lot of states just follow the federal but not uh, not all of them so you have to be aware of where you can and cannot use this. But you can on most federal lands and quite a few state lands. Number six is another great thing about this particular bike is that you can hook up a trailer and haul your stands and things like that in. You can haul your deer out um, with the other bike, I was using some real stout bungee cords to attach a trailer to it, and that worked okay. But this has got the trailer that attaches to the hub, and it's, uh, it's much easier to pull, and it's more reliable as far as attaching it. So that's a really cool aspect to it, too, and the trailers are pretty reasonable. There's three different kinds. Baku offers three different kinds that you can use. This bike on a charge will go about 40 miles, and it uh, depends on how much you pedal and how much... You use just the throttle. You can use this bike three ways. You can just pedal it like a regular bike or you can use the electric motor to propel you without even pedaling. The third way is the way I use it about 90% of the time and that is by using the pedal assist where when you pedal it's adding power to your pedaling. It's like you feel like you're Superman. You can go up steep hills and pull loads with it and everything like that. That's the way I use it most of the time and the battery lasts a little longer. So the bike is a huge advantage to my deer hunting and I'm even starting to use it for bear hunting and I know people that are using it for other kinds of hunting. Most public lands I find that you can use this bike and uh, I've been using it more and more and I'm really excited about continuing to use it especially now that I got this new uh, more reliable bike with uh, 
uh, some really cool features on it. If you go to backku.com, B-A-K-C-O-U.com, you can see where you can get $500 off on this bike by using a code, and the code is in the description below, and I'm also offering a special accessory at no charge when you use this code that's in the description below and I'm not going to tell you what it is right now because it changes from time to time but I'll change it in the description so whatever you're reading in the description is the $500 off on this bike plus whatever the uh, free accessory is going to be at that time Baku.com. Once you get one of these, just take one for a test drive somewhere in fact, but once you get one you will be amazed at how efficient it is and how it'll take you into places that you never thought you could go to.